Mm, there's a stranger in my house. Somebody here that I can't see. A stranger in my house. Somebody there's trying to steal away from me. Stranger in my house. Oh, Lord, somebody here I can see, stranger in my house. Listen, you guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my madhouse with me, your host. Khadija, you know, this story, you know, I love to talk about mental um, situations because we all have suffered from it. There's no perfect one, not down here. But some of us have more than most, some more than others, some more than most. But this story reeks to me of personality disorder cruelty, um, and I have a very um, nasty taste in my mouth about this, okay? And in fact, it's kind of sad because I like the person. But this right here shows me the magnitude of the madness that her daughter's had to go through. And they don't have to say anything, but when you got narcissistic type of parents or histrionic or any of those um, uh, personalities that are real strong on a scale, you know, because like I said, this stuff is on a con continuum. Uh, but when it's real hard, you get stuff like this. Naomi Judd, 76, left her daughters, Winona and Ashley, out of her will. She instead appointed her husband, Larry Strickland, as executive of her estate. He has full authority and discretion over her assets without court approval. Winona, who performed with Judd in a country duo, is upset by this decision. Insiders say the singer felt she was a major force behind her mother's success. Naomi shot herself dead in April after a long time battle with mental illness. This is cruel, in my opinion. Country singer Naomi Judd uh, and Winona, because she already did one interview I watched and she moved down the road from one of her daughters uh, and she walked down there every single day. Okay, now this, and I'm saying that and bringing that up to say, um, what kind of life did the daughter have knowing here you come down the street every single day with your madness? And I don't mean to be disrespectful. A country singer um, left, left her two daughters out of the wheel. She instead appointed... Um, her husband of 33 years as her executive of her estate. She prepared her will in November 2017, nearly five years before she died, and was of sound mind and of disposing memory when she approved the document. Judd was a member of the country duo The Judds, alongside her eldest daughter, Winona, who reportedly is very upset by the will. Why would you, I mean, why? And we know how you've always, well, Winona got drugged through the worst. She got drugged through all the um, bad relationships. She got drugged through all the, she saw most of the highs and lows of her mother before she could even identify what they were. Judge will state Strickland is entitled to reasonable compensation 
for his services as executive, according to the document. He can also be paid or reimbursed for reasonable expenses, advances, and disbursements, including attorney fees, accountants fees, made or incurred in the administration of my estate. The document also states that if Strickland could not be executive of the estate due to death or any other reason, Judd's brother-in-law, Reginald Strickland, her brother-in-law, and the president of a Tennessee law firm, Wire and Associates, will serve as co-executives. Reps for Winona and Ashley did not immediately respond to the Daily Mail's request for comments. By the way, this article came from the Daily Mail. Um, I think this is a, just a horrible look. I mean, you dead. You dead, you're gone. You can't take it with you, which is obvious. You travel the road with your daughters. All you can do is leave. You're responsible for them people being on earth. So that means the offspring that they have. You, you're the tree. Okay? And this is the kind of stuff that sits and leaves anger because if all of them got, got kids and if they don't, the ones that do could benefit from what you work for. Which as a family y'all work for. And for you to leave it and totally exclude them, I think, uh, reeks in uh, bitterness and, and, and bad wit. The sisters have not given any indication of tensions with their mother, having praised her after her death and publicly discussed their struggles during the grieving process. Both girls also had homes on Judd's 1,000-acre farm in the greater Nashville area, which she owned for nearly three decades. It is unclear if Winona and Ashley's properties are considered part of the estate. Because if so, they might got to go. It's interesting. Ashley sat down with Greece expert Dave Kessler uh, healing and discussed her mother's death. The actress and humanitarian told Kessler on his podcast, it was abrupt and painful and my world is upside down. I look back at my childhood and I realize I grew up with a mom who had an undiagnosed and an untreated mental illness. Ashley recalled the difference between uh, the different behavior expressions, interactions, flights of fancy, choices, and that, that, that her mother made that she understand now were just uh, expression of the disease. And I understand that I know that she was in pain and can today understand that she was absolutely doing the best that she could. And if she could have done it differently, she would have. However, it doesn't negate what she took y'all through um, as children. And um, for the risk of not sounding like Mommy Dearest and Joan Crawford, um, who y'all know was a extreme narcissist. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's just sad. She says that she hoped her mother was able to let go any guilt and shame that she carried for the shortcomings she may have had in her parenting of my sister, Winona, and me because 
certainly on my end, it was all forgiven. It was all forgiven a long time ago. Despite dealing with the aftermath of their mother's lifelong struggle with mental illness, both Ashley and Winona had to empathize with the struggles their mother dealt with due to her mental illness. I had to understand that her mental illness was a disease. I didn't cause it, I couldn't control it, and I certainly couldn't cure it. The actress promised herself that she would let go of the control she had over her mother's treatment and allow Judd to make her decisions, even when she didn't think that they were the right ones. Interesting. Interesting. There were times when she got excellent and expert professional help and chose not to pursue that in ways I thought were better for her. But I had to respect her autonomy and give her the dignity of making those decisions for herself when I thought her thinking was distorted. Even when I thought her thinking was distorted. Ashley explained that after she let go of the ability to make decisions for her mother's care, she found herself often worrying about her mother's health. In June, when Nona delivered a surprise, a surprise performance at the CMA Fest in Nashville Nissan Stadium, she appeared on stage during Carly's Pierce set, and they were and they delighted the crowd by regulating them with a soul-stirring duet. Mm. Their song of choice was Why Not Me, a number that Winona introduced in the 1980s with her mother. The country singer earned an uproarious applause for it when she let out her trademark growl and belted out the title line at the end of the song on June 10th. Winona and her mother, known as the Judds, shot to fame together as a country duo, achieving icon status in the music industry over the decades. She had taken to Instagram on May 29th to give fans an update on how she's coping a month after the tragic suicide death of her mother. I'm checking in in Ashland, Kentucky. Uh, said, um, no, she said, I'm checking in. Said, uh, the Ashland, Kentucky native said, there is so much happening in the world right now. Before I sat down to write this, I thought, no, I just don't know what to say. Then I heard the words from my life coach asking me, what do you know? And I began to cry. Winona said she was aware of her support system and was trying to follow, uh, was tr it was trying times following this family tragedy. I really do know that I'm not able to do this grieving all by myself and that it's okay to reach out for help. I will continue to fight for my faith and for myself and for my family. And I will continue to show up and say, thank y'all for all the love and support. Let's check in more often. You know, what y'all think about um, the, the mother never uh, not leaving any one of those kids anything and um, just how she handled her will. Yes, I know it's her money. And I just think that if you have offspring, this is just my opinion, 
that you should you responsible for them being on the planet. So anything you have, unless short of them trying to murder you or show you they didn't care about you at all, hurt you in many ways. I mean, and it, uh, I, I don't understand how you could take that approach to your daughter. I don't know. Let me hear what y'all think about it. Okay? Like what you hear? Please subscribe. Please share the video. And I'll see you in the next one.